Welcome to a playthrough of Ultima 2. This game takes place straight after the events of Ultima 1, after we defeated the evil Sorcerer Mundane. And somebody wasn't happy about it, the Enchantress, and she's out for revenge. So I'm going to create a new character. We have 90 points to distribute to uh, these abilities here. You need to have a minimum of 10 in one of them, and depending on your uh, your gender, your race, and your class, uh, your abilities will get uh, boosted as well. So I'm going to go with a... Well, uh, I have written this out. So strength is going to be 21. Uh, agility, 16. Stamina, 13. Charisma, 15. Wisdom, 10. And intelligence, uh, 15. And there's a good reason for that. I'm going to play a female uh, elf as well. So female uh, increases charisma by 10, the elf increases uh, agility by 5, and then I'm going to play a cleric. Now the clerics are good at dungeon delving because they can automatically, well they have spells to uh, send them back up to the surface, so that's going to be pretty handy. Let's go with a cleric. They also have the light spell and uh, pass through wall and ladder up and ladder down spells, so I think that's going to be pretty handy. And because this is an elf, a female elf, we're going to call her Silaran. Let's go with, oops, Silaran. Okay, satisfactory. Uh, let's go with yes. So we've entered into the world. Uh, we've got 400 health points, a bit of food, a bit of gold as well. Uh, let's have a look at the stats. So Z is stats. We don't have any weapons or armor at the moment, but one of the important things uh, is that our intelligence and charisma is at least 40. That will give us a discount at the shops. I think it's something like a 30% discount. I can't quite remember at the moment. So yeah, that should be pretty handy to get a discount there. So I'm gonna head across to the first castle and town just over here to the west. And it uh, looks like we've met an orc along the way. So I'll try to, to attack him. He's running away. Now I think the, uh, the loot that you get is a little bit random. Let's see if I can actually take out this Orc. There we go, just by punching him. Uh, 15 gold, a little bit of experience. I don't think the experience actually does anything though. It's really just the gold, uh, the health points and the food that matter. So there's the uh, Lord British's castle up there. And uh, we can't get across the water at the moment. But there is another castle down here. So I'm going to go inside, Town Linda. And uh, we've got some guards over here as well. So this is where we can find a few shops and things like that. Uh, there's transport here, uh, which I don't need at the moment. Let's have a chat with this guy. Uh, the merchant says, will you buy my apples? Uh, no, I don't need any apples at the moment. Uh, there's a mage over there. So this version of Ultima 2 is using a fan-made update, which adds a bit of color and um, fixes a few bugs and things like that. Uh, we've made it to the pub. I could probably get some, uh, see if I could listen to some local gossip, but uh, I'm really just looking out for a, a weapon at the moment. I just really want the basics. Uh, I think over across to the, uh, to the right, let's see what we can find over here. Okay, the armory. Let's have a chat to the armorer, and uh, we can purchase uh, different kinds of, of armor here. Now, armor depends on your strength. I've got strength of... 21, which means I can wear the plate mail. It's probably a bit expensive. Let's see how much it is. 356. Yeah, that's too expensive. So uh, I think I'm just going to have to go with the chain mail for now. 136. I guess that's okay. Yes. And uh, let's go and wear the chain mail. Have a look at our stats. And you can see we are now wearing the chain mail. Uh, agility 21. Agility is used for wielding weapons. And that will allow us to use a bow. So if I've got the money, I'll head across and try to buy, try to buy a bow. Uh, let's go and have a look. Is there a, is there a shop somewhere over here? That leads to the outside of the town. Uh, let's head across here to the uh, the west, back to the pub. I'm sure there's a weapons smith here. There's a weapons shop somewhere around here. It's not. Not at the armory, maybe it's further north. It's this. Yeah, the weapons shop is just here. Let's have a chat with him. I will buy the bow if I can. 52, it's pretty cheap. Definitely want that. So I'm going to ready the ready the bow. Now we've got the other uh, chain mail and the bow and we are ready to go out into the world. 
I won't have to punch people to kill them anymore. Unfortunately, you can't buy any food here, so I'm going to have to head off somewhere else to purchase the food. I'm going to take out this. I think this is a thief. The thieves have got the little daggers there. And uh, he's running off as well. They can steal things from your inventory. So I definitely don't want to let him get away. Uh, but sometimes you get, they drop items as well. So I've found a helm, apparently. Maybe the thief dropped a helm. And there is a little village here as well. So I'm going to enter into the village. And you can get a little bit confused here because the villagers sometimes look like the enemies in the outside world. And this looks like a thief. So I don't want to attack him though because the guards will, will get angry and start, start attacking me if I do that. Uh, we've got um, holy spells. I am a cleric, so hmm, let's see how much they cost. I definitely want the light spells for when I go into the dungeons and the towers. Let's purchase a few of those. Five lights for 12. Uh, that sounds fine. Uh, what else has he got? Ladder down, ladder up. I wonder how much the surface spell is. 84. Yeah, I'm going to buy that now. Five surface spells to get me straight out of a dungeon or a tower. Sounds like a fair deal. Now, there should be a food shop here. Alfred's Fish and Chips. So let's have a chat with Alfred. Uh, 32 gold for 100 food. Sounds like a pretty good deal. Yes, I do want that. And I'm going to buy some more as well. 460. Uh, 560. I've only got 72 gold left, but um, I do have quite a, quite a uh, big lot of food here. I'm not sure how I'm carrying it all around, so let's head on out. And I'm going to have to defeat some of the enemies out here to, to get my gold back. That's really the only way to do it. Now this creature over here is, I think that's a demon, and they are pretty tough. They do paralyze you. So this could be a, a tough fight. My legs have been paralyzed. If he runs away, I won't be able to chase him until the paralysis is removed. I think it lasts a few turns. Um, you can see over to the right there is a time gate which has appeared. And uh, there are numerous time gates in this game. And they take you to different... Oh, I'm paralyzed. I can't chase him. Come on. I'm paralyzed. I'm going to continue chasing him because he's probably injured now. But yeah, these guys are nasty. I'm paralyzed. And they have a range of, of two as well. He's going to destroy me. Come on. Oh, got him. He only had 15 gold. That was a tough battle just for 15 gold, and I'm still paralyzed. <laughs> I can't move. Come on, come on. Right, so there's two time gates here. One, The one on the right takes you to the Pangaea, way in the past. The one on the left takes you to um, the isle just over there, next to Lord British's castle. Um, I might take out these orcs, first of all. They should be easier to kill, hopefully, if I can actually hit them. Come on. Come on. Actually, yeah, I've got one of them. And uh, this one wants to run away. There we go. 121 gold now is not too bad. Um, all right, let's take, these, let's take these enemies out while they're here. So the way to get your health points up, uh, you don't rest in this game. You don't drink health potions or do anything like that. You need to see Lord British and give him an offering. And once you give him an offering, he will give you uh, health points. Uh, so that's how you increase your health points. And uh, there's no leveling up in this game either. You need to visit a certain person who will increase your abilities. So we're going to do that a little bit later. For now, I'm going to go through this time gate and go to a different time. The castle is still here. So let's go and uh, see if we can visit Lord British. Uh, I think that's a jester. I can have a chat with him. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, I don't think he does anything else. And then uh, there's a few guards in here as well. LB, Lord British. Uh, the mess hall. I don't think we can buy any food, but we can talk to the king. Who's this guy, I wonder? The merchant orders. Give the king a tribute. Okay, we shall give the king a tribute. And that happens automatically when you talk to him. He takes away 50 gold, and he's given us 300 health points, which sounds like a pretty good deal to me. So I'm going to talk to him again. And uh, now I've got 842 health points, although not much gold. So I'm going to have to head out into the world and start fighting enemies and see if I can I can loot them for, for a bit of gold and 
and make my way in the world that way. Uh, there's a little village here as well, Port Boniface, Crossroad Chapel. Uh, is there anything we can do here? Let's have a chat. We can buy some spells. Um, I don't really have any gold. How much is the ladder down spells? Five ladders down for 20. Sure, let's do that. I've only got seven gold, but at least I am starting to get some spells now, which is good. And uh, you can actually have a look at the spells. You've got light, down ladders, and surface five. Found some boots and, and uh, helm as well. So that is pretty good. Now to use the spells, I will need to find a staff, which I don't have at the moment. So <clears throat> I can't cast any of these spells at the moment. I just have to wait for the time gate uh, to get back to the mainland. There we go. So I'm going to head back here and uh, start fighting the enemies and see if I can uh, get a little bit of gold. There's another one of those demons. Can I run away from that? Oh, let's just take him out. Hopefully I can kill him quickly. No, he's paralyzed me now. Come on. Yeah, I really don't like these guys. They are pretty tough. And when he runs away, I can't chase him because I'm paralyzed. There we go. Let's see if I can finish him off. He's got me paralyzed again. Whew. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to wander around, have a look. Um, the serpents, they're not too difficult to kill down in the water there, down to the south, but they run away if they get damaged and I won't be able to chase them across the water. I can buy a horse. Uh, maybe I should do that a little bit later, but for now I'm really looking at just making sure I have enough food so that I don't die and making sure I have enough health points. I guess I can try and take on the serpent here. Just, just continually missing. Oh, there we go. Hit him a few times there. And uh, I will either need to buy a, a staff or... Um, he's, really, he's really run off, hasn't he? Yeah, it's a bit of a waste attacking those serpents when they can just run off like that so easily. Uh, let's defeat a few more, a few more creatures. Uh, maybe head back to Lord British and um, yeah, see if I can find a staff, and then I can start heading into the dungeons and exploring the the dungeons and the towers. And uh, you can find a few unique items in the dungeons. Being attacked by a uh, this is a fighter here, even though it doesn't look like he has a sword at all. And I just am just continually missing here. Have I? Am I still using my bow? Did that get stolen? No. My items have all been stolen. The thieves have taken all of my items, the helm and the bow. This is ridiculous. Uh, sorry, not the helm and the, the boot. I've still got to have the bow and the chain because I'm using it. So obviously that can't be stolen. But Oh, come on. Can I even hit this guy? Can I, can I hit him at all? I don't think I've... I don't think I'm good enough to actually hit this uh, this fighter. Oh, I did hit him. I hit him once. There we go. I'm starting to hit him now. I've lost almost all of my health points. That's crazy. This fighter is ridiculous. How tough is he? That is crazy. Come on, take him out. Oh, goodness. And there's the thief. And uh, I'm going to have to take out this, this orc. I think it's an orc. An orc here as well. He's running off. Whew. Man, I lost so many health points there. Oh, I did get a staff though. Uh, so what I can do is press M to ready the magic. I want to ready spell number one, the light spell. And then I can press C to cast it. Uh, I will need to be in a dungeon though. And uh, before going into a dungeon, I need to make sure that I still have a staff. Make sure it's not been stolen by a thief or anything like that. Um, yeah, let's go and take this guy out. Whew, 77. So I guess I could try to get back up to 100 uh, gold and then maybe uh, go see Lord British again for the extra 300 health points. Let's just have a look down here, see if there's any more any more enemies to face. I'm pretty good for food at the moment. But yeah, there is a little bit of just wandering around. Oh, I don't want to face that demon. I guess I'm going to have to. Right, let's take on the demon. Oh, he's paralyzed me, but I think he's stuck between... Um, myself and the orc here, so he's not going to be able to run away. It doesn't matter that I'm paralyzed. Is he going to go through the time gate? No, he gets stuck. Okay, let's take out this um, 
Uh, the Thief and the Orc down here as well. See if I can get to 100 gold, then go back to see Lord British. And uh, get some more health points. I really don't want to face another fighter. That was, that was a nasty fight. He's got so many health points and so difficult to hit. Uh, so I'm just going to wait for this time gate here. Uh, the Western time gate. Go through. Enter into the castle. Back to see Lord British. Does he have anything to say except ho ho ho? Nope, that's it. Um, the guards aren't talking to me at all. But uh, we'll head up and see Lord British once more. Excuse me, King, I need some health points. He's given me another 300. Another 300 back to 881. Uh, so that wasn't so good that time. I'm not sure if I made any advancement there. Back to 880 health points, but uh, not much gold. Um, I'll have to try and avoid those fighters in the future because they are they are pretty tough, pretty tough to deal with. So I'm going to head back to the mainland and uh, continue fighting these enemies, see if I can uh, increase my gold and food enough to maybe venture into one of the dungeons. But uh, that's for next time. Uh, so that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon for Ultima 2.